Hey, Steve? Yeah, Charlie? Did you buy that new girly calendar? Yep. I bet there's some nice-looking girls in there. Is there an Asian chick? There's an Asian chick, Charlie. But she's got plenty of TNA, right? She sure does, Charlie. I like that, Steve. And you know, I'm not a fan of immigrants generally, but it's nice to know that an Asian woman with big cans and nice thick thighs can escape a culture that thinks her cans are too big or her thighs are too thick and come to a country where men have the sense to appreciate them. So if anyone says I'm a racist for not liking immigrants, just tell them that. No one likes Asian chicks with big cans more than me. But that doesn't mean I should have to dial one to get English in my own country. Know what I mean, Steve? I don't think you have to worry about that anymore, Charlie. I guess that's right, Steve. Sure wish I could see that calendar. Hey, Steve? Yeah, Charlie? I think maybe that calendar would look better on the opposite wall. Maybe behind the TV? Speaking of Asians, that might have better feng shui, I think. No, I like it where it is. But I can't see it there, Steve. Sorry, Charlie. If it's behind the TV, I can't write down my appointments. You don't have any appointments, Steve. And I get lonely up here when you go out to the bar. You just leave the TV on. Sometimes it goes to an infomercial or one of those shows where women talk about stuff but they don't even show their cans. I should at least be able to look at the calendar. That would just be cruel of me, Charlie. You don't have a... you know. And you don't have any hands, either. What would you do staring at a girly calendar all night? Well, could we at least get another head for me to talk to? Where would I get another haunted, disembodied head, Charlie? I don't know, Steve. But do you know who really used to hate you? Lana over at the Bag and Save. She always said nasty things about you, Steve. No respect for you at all. If you knew all the things she said, I wouldn't blame you, Steve, if you got angry. If you got really, really angry. If you... murdered her. What? Nothing. I'm not saying you should murder her. I just kind of feel she has it coming. For all those things she said. About you. She hasn't got any kids or anything. Why would I kill her, Charlie? I don't even know who you're talking about. Lana, Steve. The one at the bag and save with the nice lips. I think she used to be a stripper before she gained the weight. But her head's still nice. If you did kill her, which you shouldn't, and I know you won't, but if you did shoot her, like I used to think you shot me before I remembered that I fell, if her head were mounted up next to mine, that'd probably be Good feng shui. Are you trying to get me to kill this Lana chick, Charlie? Hey, that's an idea. You always have great ideas, Steve. You could kill her. Then you could mount her head on the wall like a trophy to show the world that nobody says things like that about you behind your back. And I'd have someone to talk to. It would solve both our problems. I got no problems, Charlie. Yeah, but... It's not like you never shot anyone before, Steve. What? I don't mean... What are you talking about, Charlie? I don't mean me, Steve. I just meant... I heard you shot someone once. A long time ago. From a reputable source. Just shoot Lana, Steve. Charlie? It would only take a second. Charlie? I got no one to goddamn talk to here, Charlie? Steve. I'm the only disembodied head I know. How am I supposed to meet somebody? Charlie? Yeah, Steve? What makes you think she'd haunt the head if I shot her? Well, I'm haunting mine. And? And you shot me, Steve. 
You shot me for hitting on Donna. Charlie? And I don't know why we can't just say it. Charlie? It's not like I can do anything about it. Charlie? I'm just a goddamn head mounted on a goddamn wall, and all I'm asking... Charlie? ...is that you shoot a woman so I have someone to talk to. Can you just do that one little thing for me, Steve? Charlie? Yeah, Steve? Watch the game, Charlie. Okay, Steve. Hey, Charlie? Yeah, Steve? How did you die again? I think I fell, Steve. Yeah, Charlie. You fell. <laughs>